In this video we're going to look at how to make a graph in Excel. You would have noticed in my previous video on a table that I used Excel to create my table. Uh, Excel has a lot of great features including the uh, sum feature and average feature that we used in the last video. Uh, what it can also do is create a graph for us. Now when we're creating a graph in Excel we use the exact same rules as if we were to hand draw it. Uh, it's just a bit easier for us because we don't have to plot the actual values. Alright, so what we start with is we highlight our independent variable. We then need to hold the control button on the keyboard and highlight our dependent variable. Okay, And you'll notice what I've done here is just the values. I haven't actually highlighted the titles, just the values themselves. We then click on Insert tab up the top, go down to Insert Chart, and this little icon here is the Scatter Chart, which are the ones that we want to use, XY Scatter. And we'll use this one, which just plots the points, so there's no lines joining them up. So as I said before, we don't want to join the dots with lines like this. So we use, let's delete that, uh, we use our XY scatter just with dots. Okay, so now we've got our graph. Now we need to play around with our graph a little bit. The first thing we'll need to do is give it a title. When creating a title, we want it to be something meaningful that describes what we actually, uh, the results that we're actually showing in our graph. Okay, so that's our title. We then need to label our axis. So you can see that the uh, actual points are here, but there aren't any labels. To bring up those labels, what we do is move over to this quick layout button. And clicking on that, the first one here has titles on the axis. So again, we'll change our titles on the axis, uh, remembering that we want to put the units in brackets. Right, so now we've labelled our axis, we've got our title. Uh, this series thing, it's something that comes up automatically. We don't need it, so we can just click on it and press the delete button. This is for if you have multiple series that you're graphing or multiple results that you're graphing on the same graph. Okay, now the last thing we want to do to our graph is add a trend line. To do this, we click on the points themselves. You can see that the points are highlighted there. We then right click, move down to add trend line. And for this one, we want a linear trend line. So that'll give us a line of best fit. Okay, once we've got that up, all good. Now we've got our graph and we can take that graph and cut it and paste it into any document that we're using that we're presenting our report in. 